Hey yo, what is going on today guys and girls? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are doing our very first drift tune, slow drift tune, I'll, you know, I'll put that on there. Slow drift tune <laughs> for uh, Car X Drift Race, man. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. This has been very um, popular. People that want to see what I've been doing, what you know, what sort of stuff I've got under the damn hood, bro. So be sure to hit that like button, and I shall catch you guys after the intro. Alright, so here we are, Nissan 240SX or 180SX, you know, because of the rear tail lights, bro. I'm loving the tail lights right now, man. I'm loving the customization that you can do in this game. It is insane, bro. But, right, so kicking straight off into this, I think we are going to uh, hit up the ultimate mods. Obviously, you want to hit up the uh, the ultimate mod. You don't want the drift mod because you can, you can tune a little bit with that, but you can't tune you know, as much as what you can with the ultimate drift mod. So, uh, hit up the ultimate drift mod, you know, that will uh, help you increase uh, horsepower, uh, let you tune your gears, let you do all that sort of stuff. I know it's a bit pricey for some of the cars, but it will be worth it in the damn end, bro. But, kicking it straight off here in the two, the dyno stand here, obviously we have all of um, the suspension options and like caster, max air angle, you know, anchor man angle, any roll bars, all the sort of stuff that you'd see in Forza. So it's, you know, it's not too bad, bro. All right. So straight off the bat here, we're sitting at 13 centimeters um, on the rear springs and the front springs. Both of those were sitting at 13. Obviously, you can drop it a bit lower, but you know, man, you got to keep it clean out here, bro. You got to keep it clean. So. Um, front spring stiffness is 60 and the rear spring stiffness is 55. I don't really tend to change like the springs uh, stiffness and the shocks and all that sort of stuff. Um, so, you know, I kept the, uh, like say the shocks here at 70 as well. The toe I've got at 0 0.10 on the front and on the rear I've got negative 0 0.19. Front camber I have negative 13.98 which would be 14, but it does, this game I have, oh, hello, this game I have um, noticed that it does like to change some settings, like, every so often, so I'll, uh, on, for our sake, the pirate, the, the car, the pirate, it, um, it changes my horsepower every time I leave, uh, so I, I finish the game, I finish playing, I quit out the game, and I come back again, it will say uh, 313 horsepower instead of the 280, which I do want to have in it. So I have noticed that. You just have to got to be aware of that. Like some sometimes it does change uh, your tune, which is a bit annoying. It is it is a bit annoying. Um, I I really do hope that they do fix it. Um, but you know we do need to make it you know people aware of it and stuff like that. So maybe I'll do a video on it. Maybe just to explain it a little bit more. Um, and hopefully we can get the developer's attention, man, hopefully. But, you know, it's very slim, very slim, but, you know, is what it is. But, <clears throat> so, rear camber is negative 11.03, you should probably see from me uh, waffling. Um, front anti-roll bars, I've got 5kn, which is stock, and the rear is 0kn, obviously stock again. My caster is at 6.5, my anchor man angle is 100%, and the max steering angle is at 60 degrees. Now, I've completely maxed all this stuff because, you know, you get some big angle in this game, and it's easy to hold it, so I thought, why not slap it on there and just get some crazy angle, man, you know? So, moving on now to wheels, I've got 17 inch on the front and the rear diameter, so, you know, I thought 17 was probably, you know, it's good enough, right, it's good enough, it looks alright, it looks alright, it doesn't look too bad, it doesn't look too small, it doesn't look, you know, it looks good. So, I got the 17s on both, 45, 245, sorry, millimetres on the front and the rear tyres, which is a good, you know, a good width for your tyres to be on this game, I feel. You know, it's not too not too large, not too small, you know, it's 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 a good it's a good sort of you know happy medium sort of thing. 
Now, with the tire pressure, I've been messing around with this quite a lot just to see if, um, you know, if, if it does make a hell of a difference. And it does, bro. It does make a good amount of difference. So, I got 285 kPa on the both here, front tire pressure and rear tire pressure, just to make the car even more slidey, bro. Just got to make, you know, got to be even more slidey than what it is. Um, which, you know, it helps, bro. It does help, you know, push the car out, you know, make it slidey, all that good stuff. So... Now, this one is a big one, bro. Front wheel ascension is obviously 100. Some people like to run 120 uh, for the for the front wheel ascension, but, you know, I think 100% is good enough, bro. It's good enough. And the big secret of drifting slow is rear wheel ascension, bro. We've got to put it in 90%. You know, drop it down. Make sure those tires are literally shredded, bro. they got to be shredded out here. You know, it makes the car... Makes the car hella slow, which feels great, you know, it, it's it's a big secret in this game, man, I don't know why, you know, you know, drop it down, bro, drop it down, rear wheel ascension, sorted, bro, sorted, it uh, makes the car, you know, hella slidey, yeah, that is one thing you gotta, you gotta, you know, pay attention to, though, it does make it super slidey, so, you know, big angle is very easy to get, which is awesome. Um, front wheel, front wheel track is 14, my rear base is 10, obviously just to bring them wheels out a little bit, a little bit of tuck, you know, you know how it is, all that good stuff for making the car look clean. Um, front tire profile, I've got 35 on both as well, both on 35, um, yeah, I think that's stock, so that's nothing, nothing really new there. Now, engine, here we go, see 280 horsepower, running at 310, uh, I believe that's, oh, 420, sorry, Newton meters of torque, there we go, um, 310 foot pound, I guess, uh, so, I've got the engine tune up at 0%, we've got the max torque at 300, uh, 3,291 RPM, and then my rev limit is at 6,984, now, I do believe, I think, I think that's good actually that's good i usually i usually try to run my stuff at around 8,000 rpm but for this car i think it, it was too much man it was too much horsepower so <clears throat> running that thing at uh 6,984 rpm isn't too bad bro it's not too bad and obviously we haven't got the turbocharger in so that means we don't have to have any turbocharger air pressure in there so that is completely bone stock all right so that's pretty much it Obviously, now we are on the transmission. We got a uh, differential. We got to lock that diff. 1.00 on that diff. You know, fully lock the diff. Um, final drive is at 3.00. Obviously, I haven't changed my final drive from Forza, man, because funnily enough, it still runs pretty damn clean, man, for what I like to run. So, 3.00 on the final drive. 5.20 on gear one. 1.90 on gear 2, gear 3 is 1.75, gear 4 is 1.60, and gear 5 is 1.50, and in gear 6 I don't really tune, so that is 0.80. Um, I don't really tune uh, gear 5 and gear 6 mainly because uh, I never use them, bro, I never use them, you know, I hit up gear 2, I hit up gear 3, and in gear 4 is just there if I really need it, but... You know, 99.9% of the time, I'll never get into gear 5 and 6. So, you know, tune them up if you want to. Tune them up so they're all flush. But, um, yeah, nah. I won't. I don't really tend to bother. Now, moving on to brakes. Obviously, you want to drop down that braking torque. So that way you can, you know, slide with people and not uh, use your use your brakes instead of you know, using your handbrake. Um, so, I've got 2,670 newton meters of torque on the brakes. Um, obviously you can have it a lot lower if you want to, but for me, I don't push down all my trigger all the way. Um, I push it down only like half or, you know, 45%. I don't actually push it down all the way. So if you do put, if you do have a heavy finger and you like to push down on the trigger all the way down, then obviously drop it down even further. But for me, <clears throat> that is a perfect amount. Now, front brake bias is obviously how much it is on the, how much you're going to brake on the front. So it's 60% for me. So I just put that at 60%, exactly the same how I would in Forza. 60%, running good, feeling good, you know, all that good stuff. ABS, obviously I have it on, but if you want to uh, take it off, that's completely up to you. You can take it off. And this launch control tandems thing, man, I have no idea what this thing is, but we'll keep it off just for now, man, just in case. Um, you know, something crazy happens when you turn it on. I don't think it does, but you know, we'll, I'll mess around with it maybe and see, see what's good with it. But, uh, 
But yeah, now that's that's pretty much it for this uh, build right now. Let's go ahead and go and uh, drift this thing on the damn track, man. All right, so here we are at the track. Um, this is one of my pre-made sections. This is, I like like to make sections, as you guys already know, man. So here we are in the new section, I guess. Um, if you've watched my other videos, you definitely have seen this uh, section before. So without further ado, man, I'm gonna go ahead and run the damn section, bro. Let's go. Alright, so there we go, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little run there. Um, bro, the, uh, I forgot there was a physics update, man. There was a physics up physics update for this game. So it was quite interesting to drift with the new physics. Um, yeah, definitely, you know, it definitely feels a little bit different, man. Definitely feels a little bit different. But regardless, it still runs, the car still runs very good. Uh, still runs fairly nice, all that good stuff. So you haven't got to worry about it too much. Um, but yeah, no, it was interesting to see, man. It was definitely interesting to see. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe button, man. Um, you guys have been absolutely killing it with the likes, man. Hitting that 10 like goal every damn time, man. So I appreciate you guys hitting that like goal. Um, so... Man, we might have to up it, bro. We might have to up it maybe 15, man. So, you know, let's go for it, man. Let's shoot for 15 damn likes on this video, man. Shoot for the 15 likes. If you do hit that like goal, that'd be awesome. Um, but anyway, man, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Take care and peace.